Hi everybody, it's Pastor Mark from Bethesda Church. You know, people got a lot of laughs out of my barking kids comment during our Easter Sunday video. You can actually still watch that video uh, by going to our website, BethesdaChurchSTL.com and then click on the Sermons tab. But back to those barking kids. When I made that video, I really did mean to say barking dogs. But we really do have barking kids on my street. In fact, some of them live next door. And here's the evidence. Now, I will tell you, I did get permission from their parents to video them. And those boys are awesome. In fact, all of our neighbors are awesome. I would put our neighbors up against any neighbors in any neighborhood. Our neighbors remind us of an old tagline for an insurance company. It's saying, like a good neighbor, blank blank is there. Well, our neighbors are just like that. They are there. They have our back. We socialize almost every night, but we keep a distance of at least 10 feet and often 15 feet or greater. My neighbors shop for each other. They pick up meals for each other. They text all day long, and it's great. And the fact is, is they were doing things like that long before the COVID-19 pandemic. It's just more intense now. And I have to brag about another thing about my neighbors. Five of the nine households on our street watched Bethesda's Easter Sunday service. And they watched it even though most of them have their own churches. Our neighbors are doing what the church does and what the church should always do. And that is take care of your neighbors. Jesus said, love God and love your neighbors. You know, the early church took care of their neighbors and each other as well. In the book of Acts chapter 2, beginning in verse 41, we read some well-known words. Luke writes, he says, and they, and he's talking about the first Christians, and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together, and they held everything in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. We care for others in the church. And that means we care for Bethesda church people and people in other churches. And we care for those who don't know Jesus. We love our neighbors. And that means we love all our neighbors. We've talked about this a lot lately, but I want to bring it up again because it's so important. During tough times is when the light of Christ shines its brightest. And so let your light shine. And here are some ideas for letting that light shine this week. Call or text a neighbor that you haven't seen recently. Ask a neighbor if you can do anything for them. Maybe things like shopping or, or cut their grass. Ask a neighbor if you can pray for them and ask them what they need prayer for. And socialize. Get out of the house. But please, please keep your social distance. You can shout a, a hello across the street or from your porch to someone else who's sitting on their porch. And then tell your neighbors that they can watch or listen to our church services on our website and help them find them. This continues to be a, a difficult time. 
and yet I see signs of joy. Families are outside playing in their yards. They're all together. Teenagers, teenagers are going for walks with their parents. People are calling one another. They're praying for each other and they're sending cards. Neighbors are loving their neighbors. And it's all good. So keep it up. God bless.